Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about data modeling best practices in Power BI Desktop. If you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. If you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real time environment. So in this video, we will deep dive about data modeling best practices in Power BI Desktop. In this video, I am going to cover one by one importance of relationships and how to filter the data between two tables, managing relationship, create, delete and edit relationships, hiding columns in Power BI, delete columns in Power BI and cross filtering and single direction and both direction when we use okay so let's start with the importance of relationship and how to filter the data between two tables let me go to my power bi desktop if anybody watching first time a video please check class number three and four why because in class number three and four clearly explain how to download and install adventure works data warehouse 2017 and uh, not win database these databases are look like real data that's the reason why i'm requesting to practice this data now i'm taking dim date dim geography at least one fact table fact internet sales let me click on load okay well, automatically it will detect the relationships. Don't worry, it won't take much time. Now, my tables are loaded. Now, go to model view. See here, if you observe fact internet sales and dim tab, these two tables having a relationship and dim geography and fact internet cells does not have any relationship now let's see what happens if the table does not contain relationship between them let me go to report view don't worry i will explain in visualization for this so i am taking english country region name and total sales amount from fact internet sales Let me convert to table visual, drag it, let me format this to better view, I just want to change the style and font size, bold header, flash rows, now column headers, font I want to increase. Also, values text also I want to change. Okay. Now, if you observe here, English based on English country region name, here total sales amount is not filtered. Only it returning total sales amount in every column. That means two tables. Dim geography and fact internet sales having does not relationship. That is the reason why it is not giving uh, country wise sales. But it is returning total sales because we added fact internet sales a sales amount in this visual. That is the reason why it is showing this one. Now I will load dim customer table. If I load dim customer table. It will build the relationship between fact internet sales and dim geography. Then filters will work. Automatically it filters the data. Now let me connect to my SQL server again. Come down. Dim customer. Click on load. Okay.
see here now dim customer having relationship with the dim geography and dim customer table having relationship with the fact internet sales that means data is flowing one to many one to many so now let me go to our visualization see here now based on english country region name total sales amount is divided right only all australia sales and canada sales and france sales and uh, germany sales and uh, uk states so in this way relationship is very very useful it is playing very very important role in the data modeling and also power bi reporting now let's move to manage relationships in manage relationship how to create delete and edit relationships go to model view you can manage relationship in two ways you can right click and delete okay and properties here if you want to change the relationship between two columns you just select the columns and drag okay relationship to changed okay this dotted line is having relationship this table to this table but it is in inactive stage one table to another table only one active relationship have we cannot have more than one active relationship that is the rule so i just want to now you can change the relationships here also this is our active relationship columns okay this is having relationship but it does not have in, uh, active relationship between them if you click auto detect it automatically it will detect the relationship between the tables okay now let's move to the next topic hiding columns in power bi this is very very important suppose in real time environment you have created one report but report is loading very slow that means you are facing some performance issues that time we'll check the columns will identify the columns which are not useful in power bi reporting and those columns okay if you are sure you can delete if you are not sure then you can uh hide let's see now marital status hide in report view just click on it see here in the data in the dim customer marital status decide it is not required for me so name style or middle name if you want to delete this middle name just right click and delete from model okay now let's discuss about cross filter in power bi what happens if it is in single direction and what happens if it is in both directions let me go to my browser cross filter in power bi let me open official page of power bi there is cross filter dax function also is there we can use that also otherwise we can simply change the direction of the both now see specify the cross filtering direction to be used in a calculation for a relationship that exists between two columns so don't worry i will explain dax in coming sessions now we'll see how to do the dax functions uh, by changing the cross filtering okay now they use they given one example in the example they use uh, fact internet sales and uh, dim product and uh, dim date now let me load those tables into the power bi desktop connect to sql server dim date 
dim product and fake internet sales click on ok tables will be loaded with the relationships don't worry it won't take much time go to model if you observe the tables here data is flowing dimension table to fact tables one to many relationship it is having and single direction correct so data is flowing from uh, dimension table to fact table okay now let's take a simple visualization i will show the difference what will happen go to the example they they can year column and uh, sum of sales and uh, exchange code of product key okay I am taking calendar year from dim date and total sales amount from the fact internet sales. Don't worry, in coming section I will explain visualization but convert to table visual. So when you load tables into the Power BI desktop, if any column contain numbers, it will automatically sums. You need to go and don't summarize. Now here is displaying. Now just I want to format this for better visual. I just want to change the style. And And also column headers, text styles. and values, text. Now here distinct count of product key so i want to find out the distinct count of product key from the dim table okay new measure i will explain in next coming session what is measure what is calculated column what is calculated table everything don't worry it's a dax function so if you want to find out the distinct values from any column there is a dax function distinct count this is measure name extend count sorry extend count product key from the dim table It will only return distinct values. Now drag this. Here it is giving only total, total number it is giving. Every column it is giving total number because here from dim product to dim fact table uh, check the relationship having relationship through the product key and it is cross filter direct is single so if i change here both then it will filter the data okay in the example also 60660 60, they also used exact data now come down you can use either dax function Either we can use bidirectional. Now I am using bidirectional. Just I want to change the direction of the filter. Both. And 
click on OK. Now changes are applied. See here directions in the both directions data is flowing. That means data is flowing from fact internet sales to dim product, dim product to fact internet sales. That is the very very important. So while building uh, complex models we use these kind of uh, scenarios. Okay. Now let's go to our report. Now see. Now year wise it is divided right. Now total is also came 606. So in this way we can use uh, cross filter direction in Power BI report in the real time. If anybody wants special training you can directly email to this email and you can directly call to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching my video if you have still any questions please comment in the below video